Hey, what's happening, guys? In a recent interview with IndieWire.com, the producers of the Amazing Spider-Man 2, Abby Everett and Matt Tolmack revealed some details about Lizard. Will we see him again? As well as the whole thing with Peter Parker being replaced by, for example, Miles Morales or Miguel O'Hara. Now, first of all, both producers were asked if we will see the Lizard again. Matt Tolmack responded, "There's no never." Later on, Abby Everett, of course, added, "All I can tell you is that we never had more of an opportunity by establishing Oscorp as the station from which it's all coming." You can do the whole new vision of what the lizard will look like next time. Now this is pretty exciting. Of course, from the Daily Bugle's viral campaign, we do know that Lizard is currently held in the Rikers Island prison and he was about to be transported to the Ravencroft prison. Now that comes from the viral campaign. You can take that as a grant, as a canon, of course, and that's pretty interesting. Will we see Lizard again? Probably we will at some point. Will Lizard join the Sinister Six? We don't know yet, but of course, if he will, uh, there will be a different reason. Uh, perhaps Dr. Connors will be manipulated Otherwise, I really can't see Lizard uh, fighting Peter Parker after the events of the first film. And it's also worth pointing out that Abby Everett said that Lizard might actually look different next time we see him. Perhaps he will mutate more or it will be different Lizard serum. Let's wait and see if Lizard will join the Sinister Six and if we will see him once again. Now, of course, the producers were also asked if Miles Morales, Miguel O'Hara or some other Spider-Man can actually replace Peter at some point, let's say after the Amazing Spider-Man 4, and they will bring a new reboot, and it won't be Peter Parker. To what Evie Everett responded, no. The one thing you cannot do when you have a phenomenon that has stood the test of time, you have to be true to the real character inside. Who is Peter Parker? What are the biggest effects on his life? Then you can draw in time, and you can consider today's world in many ways. But to have multiple ones? I don't know if you remember, but Marvel tried it, and it was almost the end of Spider-Man. Of course, that's probably the answer to everyone who expects a Spider-Man reboot not about Peter Parker. Now, of course, at some point Andrew will give up his role and we will see the eventual reboot, and there will be another Peter Parker. As for Miles Morales or Miguel O'Hara, perhaps they will get their own spin-off TV series. Now, of course, this goes against what Andrew Garfield said himself just a couple of days ago, where he expressed his thoughts that a Miles Morales replacing Peter Parker eventually is actually a great idea and he would certainly like that to happen. And of course, finally, Matt Tomek explained that a Venom movie might be the beginning of a separate franchise. Quote, it certainly could be, but then again, they're all going to converge in some way. That's pretty interesting, of course, probably we should expect a Venom spin-off sequel after the Venom origin film and then a third part. Definitely they are expanding Spider-Man universe. Spider-Man exists for over 50 years, so many characters, so many great stories. Definitely we should expect a lot of stuff in the upcoming coming years, that including Sinister Six, Venom spin-off film, Amazing Spider-Man 3, and perhaps something else. Check out the full interview over andywire.com in the description box, let me know what you guys think, and I'm off and on.